Uh, so no, I think you're going to like it. It is musical in nature. Perfect. And uh, it's musical on many layers. It's mu- is it a musical onion? Uh, layers. No, it's a parfait. It's a musical parfait. Parfaits are delicious. Either way, is it food? Uh, it is okay. not. We're back to food. Perishable. Oh well. Some oh, foods are. You seem disappointed. You genuinely seem disappointed. I was really hoping my gift would be perishable. Well, if you want to eat this, you can. I would highly not recommend it. And now our listeners next week can just tune in again to find out what the gift was. This makes them want to come back for more. Is that what that does? Apart from our Disney content. No. <laughs> if the content's not good. They're just here to see if you've left me yet or not. The mystery of the gift. That's all it is. Oh, well, that's... I mean, that's Stay tuned that's next that. week. Yes. <laughs> and our four-part saga... Well, anyway, this is episode 17 of Earful, 17. a Disney World podcast. Yeah, we're getting up there. We are 17. We're almost 18. We're almost uh, able to enlist in the Army. Oh, good. <laughs> wow. And I am once again joined by the man who thought a dust-off had to do with scattering the remains of a loved one at it Disney isn't. World. <laughs> that's not what that is? That's not what a dust-off mm. is. Do you know that's illegal to do in Disney? I do, indeed. And do you know that people like Shawshank, their loved ones, at Disney... They Shawshank, they break them out of Disney prison? No, no, no. They cut holes in their pockets, put their ashes in their pockets, and walk around Disney and scatter them around. (laughs) That is awesome. Partially because I love that movie. But also now all I'm picturing are people shuffling around Main Street, like jiggling their pockets and emptying out ashes onto Main Street. I wonder what, that's that's a great question for October, is I wonder which area of the parks is the most... Ashy. Oh, I, it has to be Magic <laughs> Kingdom. It has to with be. The, with the Haunted Mansion, would you think? No, not the Haunted Mansion, just because it's the most iconic. You have that Main Street, you have the castle. It's the most iconic. I would want to be. If you would, if you had to be buried or scattered <laughs> at Disney, where would you want to be scattered? Uh, that's a great question. If I had to pick one place at Disney to scatter my remains... Where would you pick? Oh, man. What, I, what means the most to you? You could either do the lagoon at uh, Epcot, so that every time there's a fireworks, I would be part, or, or the, the water cannons You'd would shoot. Shot I'd be out. shot out every time, because <laughs> I'm sure the filtering system isn't that oh, great. I didn't think about that. Uh, that would be cool. Oh, you could scatter them on top of Expedition Everest, uh, where all the hair ties are. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah yes, yes, or uh, soaring. Uh, oh, would, would your ashes, like, fall like the scent? <laughs> so you could everyone what? breathe me in. It smells like ash, burning ash in here. Ooh, it's an ass. Must be an <laughs> must ass. be Patrick. Oh boy. Uh what, what geez, there, there's a lot that's that's a really great question. Yeah. I mean, I think you would probably want to be somewhere in Haunted Mansion. I I definitely probably would. Yeah. Um I don't know. I let me think about that and get back to you on that one. I, yeah, that's a great. That's a, that's there's a our really question of the week. Qu- that's a great question. Start, if you, it's a weird question. Let's, let's let's go with if you're going to have your ashes sprinkled, not if you're going to be buried. Anywhere. No, you can't bury. Yeah, the ashes. I like that. Yeah, someone's going to Shawshank you at Disney. Where where would they do that to? <laughs> Tim Robbins <laughs> is going to walk around Disney. Where is he going to place you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we'll, we'll let me we'll find let a, me chew on that one for a, a while. great graphic to share with our question of the week. Hmm. But I also uh, this week wanted to share with you that we have now had thirteen hundred downloads. Wow. Yeah, so to, to celebrate that little milestone, because it's a very small milestone in the grander scheme of things, we wanted to share a little bit about where our listeners are from. And um, all this data that I'm looking into right now um, is based off over the past uh, past four, three, four months that we've been active. So um, here's where the bulk of our audience is from, not surprisingly. Canada. No, nope. in the United okay. States. Okay, all right. Uh, we, we have a small contingent for Canada. So, like, out of all of our downloads, 927 are from the United States. Yeah. That's, Fif- that's not like our last podcast that we did. Why? Because it was all Canada. It, we did have quite a bit. So, yeah. we had 53 from Canada. Welcome me. Welcome me. 52 from, we want to guess? England? Yes. Really? Yes, England. Absolutely. Uh, chip, chip, cheerio. Welcome. Yep. Thank yeah. you very much. 18 from Brazil. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> Rio, de, Rio de Janeiro. Welcome. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 10 from Germany. Uh, ah, good. Good. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> and then the list kind of peters off. Oh, come on. Give me one more at least. Nine from France. Uh, wee, oui, wee. Oui. And six from Indonesia. And, that's and we there we are. Okay. <laughs> so, so we had that. Indonesia. From the U.S., do you want to guess who has the most downloads? Pennsylvania, I assume. It's not. Mm. It's Ohio. Ohio. Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh. Round in the middle and high on both ends. No, is that right? <laughs> Ohio, oh, yeah. Um, high in the middle. 
Yeah. Pennsylvania's a close second with 110. Well, I wonder how many, because we live close to Ohio, if, if people's internets are reading Ohio, not or Pennsylvania. We're just real, real popular. We're going to do a, a tour of Ohio, apparently, because that's where our fan base oh, is. Oh, <laughs> yeah. They, everyone wants to see this on the road. 69 from Illinois. All right. Leave that alone. 62 from California. Ooh, 62. And California. We don't even talk about California I know, land. I know, I know. It's really cool. We're so happy you're listening. Thank you. 53 from the great state of New York, where I am from. It's not my mom because she has no idea how to, how to do podcasts. <laughs> 49 from Florida. Well, all right. It's probably Jim and his family. 39 from New Jersey. I have no idea who that is. And 25 from Texas. Texas? Yeah. That could be my family. Probably. Doubt and then it. the list goes down Highly, there. highly doubt it, but now, could be. This is, I, I just want to point this out because we're big Come From Away fans. We love that musical. Yeah. We have um, 27 from Newfoundland and Labrador. Yes, that's yeah. awesome. Woo! Huge <laughs> Come From Away fans. One from Quebec. One lone person. What's up, Bane? Downloaded us in Quebec. And then Australia, we have two. Got two die? <laughs> from New South Wales and Victoria. <laughs> So if you're amongst those people, please let us know where you're from, because it's always fun to find out where you all are from. Go moving And on. if it's one person that just drives around and downloads us multiple times, let us know that too. Yeah. I mean, that's helpful. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. Uh, our question of the week from last week. We asked you, what do you do with your refillable resort mugs? That's a great question. I wonder who thought of that question. Uh, it was me. It was uh, me. And I, I will tell you that I do not put my ashes in them. No, thank God. Although now, I think that's what I want it's to have It's a crossover done. episode. That's what I want. You want to put, wait, so you want to put your ashes in a refillable cup. Then and then leave it, leave it, leave it Disney. Cup. Do you want to leave it in the resort so someone has to like pick it up and think go, it's a new cup? What the hell is this? What, what happened? Yeah. So Emily C. said that she hoards them unnecessarily. I believe it. Mitch C., no relation, says he keeps using them, typically drinking coffee out of his, and then his kids have chocolate milk in theirs. Cool. Yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah I, my thing with that is they're really nice cups, but they don't hold a enough. Lot. And they spill. Yeah. And not leak proof. Yeah, all right. Sherry L. says that she's finally donated them 10 years later Who after using them. Who do you donate them to? Southell? Mm, Goodwill? All right. Anybody that needs a mug? <laughs> Speaking of, the Mug Shot podcast says that we use them for work and travel mugs, although we only have them from one trip. We currently have two more trips planned, so after those, we may be on cup overload. Oh, but you will. You will. Pixie Dust Wedding Deals on Instagram said that they are my kids' cups at home. They each get a different color, and it cuts down on them taking multiple cups a day. Hmm. Mine is used as my travel coffee mug. Hmm. So there you go. Interesting. But did we ever determine what we do with them? I think they hang out for a while. Mine's at school on my Disney wall because I have a Disney wall in my classroom. Oh, I donated mine to a friend who was a big Minnie Mouse fan. You, you oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Our, our good friend Lucy. Yeah, our good friend Lucy. Who's two? Yeah, she <laughs> loves Minnie Mouse, and so I, I on purpose picked the Minnie Mouse mug so that I could give to her when I was done. Yeah. So uh, our ear fan of the week goes to Emily C. Finally. She probably thinks it's very overdue, which it is overdue. She's been very supportive of this show. Uh, has she been complaining that she's not been the fan of the week? No, oh, I, I okay. think it's long overdue. Oh, all right. All right. She, she often will, will send me texts or whatever the next day after she listens and gives me her thoughts. And yeah. So okay. thanks, Emily thanks C. Thanks for listening, Emily C., whoever you are. Whoever you might be. It's a mystery, Emily C. Uh, don't forget, we have a website. It's earfulpod.wixsite.com slash podcast yeah yeah make Please sure you add that last part because i know it's wordy i don't know and then again we love these if you would like to leave us a voicemail with a question or a comment about this week's episode you can reach us at 814-314-9482 and you, you don't have to be a character or do a funny something funny you could just call us and say where you're from and say hello we would love that especially if like you're from newfoundland or australia or brazil or Good indonesia day. that would be great yeah yeah I know that the international calling rates might apply. So, yeah. yeah. Well, we're not going to pay for that. So, no. it's on yeah, you. You yeah, that's on you. We don't yeah. we don't make enough money from this thing. Let's go to the parks. I I my new goal every week now is to find news clips that I feel like you're just going to have a field day with. Me? Yeah, and this first one is a great way to kick off All right. this new trend for me. Disney has now patented scent blending. Oh, please. I've been doing that for years. <laughs> That's nothing new. So they now have a technology that is going to provide time-varying scent effects in a <sighs> scripted entertainment event. So if you're thinking already like PhilharMagic, that is kind of what, they, what they're going for, but 
it's going to allow them to um, emit scents in a way that allows for transitions between scenes so, so that one gets stronger as the other fades away. So when they do it, it's magical. And when, when I do it, it's just disgusting. Is yes, that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. Uh, all right. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so in my mind, I'm, I'm like, oh, so they're going to, to do scent blending as you leave Disney going to Universal. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the smell will get worse and worse as, as you get towards Universal. No, but I mean, if you think about it, the way they do the music in the parks and how oh, you, as you're yeah. walking from section to section, there's, there's no, like, you can't, they don't overlap. Like, the music stops and the next music picks up. I'm sure they'll do the same thing with the smells. That would be a, a great episode topic to talk about how... Everything blends mm. audio, visual, mm -hmm. and now scent. Yeah. How about touch? <laughs> I'll touch, blend your touch. Touch blending as you go through the parks. <laughs> well, Patrick, we're already married. I don't know if you knew that. I know because you're not wearing your ring. I'm not because my finger is swollen at the moment. Mm, so it's that's what they said. That's the story. My hand. That's the story. Stay tuned next week, folks. Yeah, to find out uh, what was the first, oh, what my gift was and if we're back together. And if again. we're still together. Yeah, <laughs> depends on how good the gift is. <laughs> Oh, well, speaking boy. of uh, being married and not wearing rings, Disney is going to be hosting a fairy tale wedding showcase uh, in March. This is a three day event where you can tour their wedding venues and you can taste food from their wedding menus. And you can smell things. You can smell things, that's right. This is going to be March 13th to March 15th at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Do you have to be getting married in Orlando in order to attend? You can just go if you like weddings. You could be a wedding crasher. Anybody can go. It's $45 a person. That's not bad. That's what like do you get for that? Money. Basically, you get to you know see the vendors, get the nice swag from the vendors. Um, but here's the thing. That's what I was wondering because here's the thing. Because you have to get into the park, don't you? Well, no, that's the hotel. Oh. That's the hotel. Yeah. So it's forty five a person for you know a typical a typical wedding fair is you know you go to booth to booth and see what everybody's about and you usually get a lot of free stuff. But then also at an extra cost. You can go to a wedding showcase, which I feel like that's obvious. Family feud? Oh, wait. No, that's not the show, uh, showcase. Oh, I was thinking of... Uh, go back. Showcase go showdown. Back, go back. Go for, back. Go back. I'm not going back. Oh, come on. Go back. That's bad. I know what you're talking about. You were thinking of showcase showdown, showdown on yes, Price is Right. I sang the wrong song. It's okay. Sorry. I got you. This go is on, why we're married. I, I know what you meant to say. But here are the extra cost things. You can do an extra cost menu tasting and a welcome party. So, you're Hello. already spending forty five. Hello, come on in. That'll yeah, be ten dollars, please, and, and more money to do. Like, I feel like the menu tasting should be part of it. That's kind of why you're there. Yeah, I guess the forty five dollars is just enough to get you into the event. That's it. Open so, if you're if you're getting married and you want to get married at Disney, there you go, March thirteenth or the fifteenth. Head on down. And if you're not getting married and you still want to go, yeah, go ahead. You could be a fan of weddings. It's fine. Yeah. We got some new details this week on Epcot's upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy coaster with some cosmic rewind ride vehicle pictures. And just like in the movies, if you if you recall the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, the color scheme is very bright. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. very different. Vibrant. Yeah, exactly. Almost uh, Avatar esque. I wouldn't say quite Avatar esque. It's almost Avatar esque. They had more jewel tones in Avatar. These are more like. Oh, you shouldn't talk about jeweling. That's bad. <laughs> No vaping, no, no jeweling. Vaping. So these ride vehicles are blue and yellow, and they are looking very snazzy mm -hmm. in the picture. Uh, they also shared on YouTube a video of, of the reveal of these uh, coaster ride vehicles. This is, again, going to be a family-friendly storytelling coaster that will have a ride system that can rotate the cars, and it's going to do a reverse launch, as the name suggests. Each cab in the attraction's ride will be able to kind of direct you to see certain things at certain times, which is going to enhance the storytelling element. So instead of just a typical coaster where, you know, you just kind of buzz through, it, it's going to be able to point you at things when it you need to. And um, we had discussed this on a previous episode, but the, the plot of the ride is that you're going to start in some place called the Galaxarium. <laughs> The Galaxarium, that just trips off the tongue. Yeah, well, it sounds like something that you go to when you go to the bathroom. It's the, to the relax. Ga the Galaxarium? Yeah, I don't know why, but that it makes me... Does it makes, sound like Gas X to you? Maybe, Is that why? Maybe okay, that's maybe why. Maybe they can brand it. You know, right. Gas X presents... And here's the scent. Cosmic Rewind. Here's the scent blending. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but this Galaxarium is where you're going to explore the differences between Earth and Xandar. 
So you're going to learn about Xandar. Oh. And then uh, apparently the Guardians are going to arrive, and then you have to ride the ride. You have to. You have to ride the ride. Mm-hmm. This is slated to open during the 50th anniversary of Disney World in 2021. They have to be making some... I mean, we, we remember. I remember that building being built a couple years back. I mean, they have to be pretty far along on that thing. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's a humongous building. It's almost an eyesore yeah. compared to the rest of the park. Yeah, but, and it's off, but it's off to the side. I also okay. wonder why they don't... I mean, I get it. They, they want the building to look as unobvious as possible. I've often wondered why they don't paint the buildings to theme them along with the ride. Because they don't want to draw attention to it. That's yeah, because from the, from the back side of, like, Avatar, you mm-hmm. see the building for Flight of Passage, and it's very innocuous. Right. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Also, in Epcot, uh, there's been a couple of renovations that have begun this past week. Club Cool is gone, as we already announced. And there are now walls up around the Fountain of Nations. Not oh, the League of Nations, Patrick. Meanwhile... And also, part of the Disney character spot where you get pictures has been closed. So that's where uh, Betamax, Baymax was, and Joy and Sadness. Yeah. So they've kind of they've kind of combined areas. But I, you know, I often wondered like what happens when characters get kicked out of their spots. I think that they should have to go around the parks and panhandle personally. <laughs> you know, get a hat and just sit it out and see what they can yeah. get or, or perform like New York City street performers. Yeah, I, that's a great question. they're out of a location. Yeah, I, I don't know because I'm sure they're still on the payroll. So yeah. I don't know what they do. They got to do something. Yeah. They don't have their spot. Maybe Baymax will be in the middle of uh, <laughs> what's the, uh, the river of life or the one that we just talked about today going through Starbucks. The River of Life. No, 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 oh, no. Oh, Living with the Land? Living with the Land. Just Maybe, put Baymax just in Just Baymax in the middle of Living with the Land. I want him to narrate Living with the Land. Please. <laughs> ba da la da la ba da la da la At the Magic Kingdom, the moat has been refilled at Cinderella's Castle. That's pretty huge. Which is great. And apparently, you, you've never seen it. The moat? Yes, I have. Filled? Yeah. It's been empty a long time. I feel like I've seen it filled. I don't think you have. I think I have. I don't think you have. I think <laughs> so. you need to not doubt my memory. Uh, as you know. Have we all learned? Uh, so... With this renovation of the moat, they added new foliage. Foliage. Some faux moat doors. Faux. <laughs> and different colored bricks. I got nothing. Nothing for that one. So yeah, very exciting because that's an icon at that park. Mm-hmm. And then the Animal Kingdom, if you're going to be at the resorts over New Year's Eve. And we are not. Which we are not. We're going to avoid that like the plague. I can't, I wonder, I mean, I know that like obviously Times Square is, you, you don't want to be within 10 miles of Times no, Square. Never. I would love to know what it's like in the parks. Um, they, are, they hit capacity. I would love to be there. Kinda. No. I kind of would. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. And the big fat nope for me. Well, if you're going to be there over New Year's Eve, the Animal Kingdom is going to have some special um, offerings that night. It's going to be open till midnight. And throughout the evening, you're going to be able to see um, specialty themed food and drinks. There'll be DJs in Asia and Discovery Island and Dinoland USA, and they'll be playing some music. You can then around midnight, gather at Discovery Island in Asia to watch a very special New Year's Eve countdown on the Tree of Life. And then music and lighting displays will welcome 2020. Will they do it, will they welcome in the New Year at Asia time or will they welcome (laughs) in Florida time? (laughs) Yes, around around Animal Kingdom. About 8 o'clock. You'll hear your shouts at different different sections of it. You'll not know what's going on. They're also going to have some exclusive pin trading opportunities that night, which makes it all worth it, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's move on to experiences and shows. <laughs> Testing has begun for Epcot forever. How do they test that? At nighttime, before, before midnight, when the park closes until midnight. So what they do is they, they have fireworks happening, but there's no one there in attendance. So you just kind of see the fireworks in the distance. And, and they have issued a warning to guests staying at the Epcot Resort area, which would include the Swan and Dolphin, the Yacht and Beach Club, or the Boardwalk. They might hear loud noises and the use of pyrotechnics during September. So they might hear a boom, 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 chicka, boom, boom, boom. boom oh, chicka. You added a chicka this week. Yeah. What's that? Uh, ground ground uh, fireworks. I was going to say ground maracas. <laughs> Gr- ground fireworks. It's just boom, boom. it's just fireworks and then employees boom. shaking maracas. That's Mar- that's Mexico. Mm-hmm. And if you hear loud noises at other times of the year, that may just be drunk park guests from Epcot. <laughs> you know, trolling the park. It walk. might be us. Yeah. So, like I said, the, the tests are supposed to start after the park closes, and they conclude by twelve a.m. I can't imagine how fun would that be to just test that stuff. I think a lot of fun blowing things up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if the rumors are true about the dr- the drones, oh, I, know. I would love to watch that test. I love watching that at Disney mm-hmm. Springs when we saw it that yep. one night randomly. Yep. So Epcot Forever will debut on October 1st, 2019. Cool. I hope to see it when we go. 
You ready for this one? Jingle bells, jingle bam! It's now available to book. Again, it's in all caps. I just want to say that for dramatic emphasis. It's going to happen November 8th through January 5th, 2020. This is going to showcase holiday magic with Disney characters and film moments and a festive celebration full of fireworks and projections. This is going to be $53 to $99 per child and adult. There's a price range in there for both. And then we have some ending character meet and greets, sadly. Mickey and Minnie will no longer meet guests in Magic Kingdom at the Town Square Theater. That okay. is going to change. Okay. Mike and Sully are ending their meet and greet at Hollywood Studios along with what? The Incredibles and Edna Mode. No! Yep. I it's like It's going to be Mode. ending right around the same time as... Uh, as Illuminations is ending as well. So it was kind of a summertime thing. It was kind of a summertime offering, and they want to move on to the next Edna season. Edna was fun. I enjoyed Edna. Oh, yeah. She was great. She yeah. was one of my favorites. And they said that the Mike and Sully one was very entertaining as well. We missed that one, though. Where was that? That was in the uh, the the theater. Not the theater so much, but the where they showcase Walt Disney's uh, legacy. Oh, oh, yeah. We tried a couple times. The mm-hmm. lines were too long. They were, they were like 45 minutes. Oh, we yeah, didn't want to yeah, wait. Yeah. So, uh, in the world of dining, we got some new details this week on the brand new uh, space coming to the Grand Floridian that is going to be inspired by Beauty and the Beast. So, this new space will have four different areas that are inspired by the movie. It's not themed after it. It's inspired by it. Um, You're going to see a chandelier that's uh, mimicked after Belle's uh, ball gown, as well as a library. That will have Baroque decor and French furnishings. Hmm. If it's not Baroque, don't fix it. That's a line from the movie. Beauty and the Beast, yeah, exactly. Okay. There'll be a garden room that will that will kind of take its inspiration from the garden surrounding the castle. And then finally, an outdoor patio will um, be inspired by the Beast's garden terrace. This, this menu sounds awesome for what is offered. Um, you can get things like artisanal cheese selections with pine nut bread and raisins. Mini smoked short rib sliders, which I know you love short rib, with glacier blue cheese and onion marmalade on brioche buns. Oh, brioche. And then crab and gnocchetti. I've never heard of that. Crab and gnocchetti gratin, which comes with a jumbo lump crab, gnocchetti sardi, robiola, balsina, mornay, and I should have had you read this, and citrus bread crust. Yeah, that was a great choice not to have me read Patrick, that. Patrick, what is robiola, balsina, mornay? Uh, well, she was a girl I went to high school with, <laughs> and uh, she was quite the dancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She What's she a, doing now? She is dancing for the New York City Ballet. Oh, mm-hmm. I would not have guessed that. that yep. That's where that story went. Yep. Is uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and that restaurant is set to open this fall. Mm. I love donuts. Do you? I do. You had your opportunity yesterday, and you did not eat one. Where did we see donuts? At the golf course. Oh, I was. I already had a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say that word again? Bagel. 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 Okay. I had a bagel. A bagel. Uh, but there, there is a Leaning Tower of Donuts. Is that like coming to like the new Simpson world? No, it's Ooh, at... V- donuts. Yeah, it's at Vivoli Il Gelato in Disney Springs. And you can pick two scoops of your favorite gelato. One of the scoops is going to be sandwiched inside a donut, and the other oh my God. will be placed on top next to... A tower of donut holes, which are then drizzled with chocolate sauce and sprinkles oh and topped with whipped cream. I think my diabetes is calling. <clears throat> Very tasty. Uh, this is kind of like we, we combine Disney Springs and dining together because it's, it's, it's a ton the same. of dining. Yeah, there's a ton of dining today. P- the Polite Pig, we stopped there last time, yep. is now going to offer beef short ribs. I'm on. I'm on all on board because what we had at the Polite Pig was nothing short it of was phenomenal. Awesome! It was so good. I could eat there every day. We, Challenge we, me. We have to fly there. Challenge we me. We have to fly there every day. Uh, the beef short rib will be served with peppercorn honey glaze, and they're going to announce some more new menu items this coming week. I also went to school with uh, peppercorn honey glaze. <laughs> and what? Oh, is it a she or he? I don't want to assume. Oh, that's a that's a she. Okay, and what is she? What's peppercorn doing? She's in the adult industry right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that one makes I sense. I would have thought Robiola Mornay <laughs> might have been, but but peppercorn honey glaze. <laughs> Welcome to the stage. Pepper peppercorn honey, honey glaze. <laughs> Sorry, kids. <laughs> Just ask your parents. Um, no! Or don't. Don't don't ask your parents. Uh, then the last thing from Dining and Disney Springs is Sprinkles is going to be offering an apple pie, <laughs> pumpkin, pumpkin, spice, and German chocolate cupcakes at special times throughout this month and through dis- through Thanksgiving. So the pumpkin one is going to be offered through Thanksgiving while the other ones are just going to be in September, October. And we know how much you hate pumpkin. 
Oh, I just detest it. It's mm-hmm. the worst thing ever. I love pumpkin so much. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I love pumpkin. What did you buy today? Pumpkin uh, cereal. Special K. Pumpkin special pumpkin. K. <laughs> Good Lord. You know, before- and Chobani yogurt. <laughs> it was harvest. Oh, wait. You, didn't, you didn't see that. I didn't see that I didn't one. point that out to you. Yeah, all right. I just figured well, I before did. you move on, mm. there was I, I don't see it in here. Okay. I don't see the story, the, the biggest story of the week for me. What's that? The, I'm, I'm stunned. What I'm actually is it? stunned. Well, we had a scare this week. We had a scare. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We had a scare. Yes. Yes. So the across my phone, I get a headline that reads, Bob Iger retires. And he, of course, texts me this. And I'm like, why? I'm like, Bob Iger retired? What do I do with Bob Disney? <laughs> Does he retire too? Uh, yeah. <gasps> Essentially, Bob would have to retire. I think there'd be riots. So after I, I texted to Kate, I found out later that Bob Iger resigned from the board of Apple. Ah. But not from Disney. He's still in charge of Disney. But there were no- rumors that he was going to, but that hasn't happened yet. So it might happen? This was a while ago. This is oh, a while ago that saying that he might. I have to get prepared for this. For Bob to retire? Yes. I don't think I don't think it's necessary if Bob retires that Bob Disney has to retire. He's just getting started. <laughs> I know, but but there's so many safety things he has to enact. <laughs> there's way too much to do. You can't retire. What? Bob Disney can't retire. Okay, all right, sorry, all right, I'm so sorry. All right, all right. I forgot who I was well, talking anyway, to. Well, anyway, it was a, it was a heart-stopping moment for me this week. But we're we're we're, we're, fine we're now. okay. We're now. okay. We moved yeah. on. Let's move on to transportation. <laughs> so we've uh, mentioned before that there have been some new buses, and there's new ones this week. So going along with that, you can now see Moana, Lion King, and Monsters, Inc.-themed buses yeah. trolling the property. All right. Patr- trolling. Patrolling. Not trolling. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're trolling everybody on online. Mm-hmm. So in the world of Disneyland and beyond, in the worlds beyond... Our, our love, I can't talk. Hang on. La, 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 la. Wait, you forgot the lightsaber sounds that sound for that one. I, but I, I'm not talking about Star Wars. I'm talking about Disneyland and beyond. Would, oh. you, like, would you like the lightsaber? I, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> that one for you. Would you like an old boy? Ooh, boy? There you go. Anything else you got in there? Um, I got, um, no, I've used everything else. Okay. okay. All right. Give me one more lightsaber. Ooh, I want one more lightsaber. All right. Thank you. <laughs> go on. Maybe I'll just like play that. I, I need one for you whenever you say something funny. <laughs> well, it won't get used very often, will it? No, I think it would. All right. I'm being kind today. Yeah, you are. I don't know what's up. <laughs> I love you. You're I'm great. surprised. You're great. Um, so this has nothing to do with any kind of theme park, but I'm really excited about this, and I wanted to bring it up because I'm sure that there are people out there that it would share my excitement, but Disney Plus is going to be featuring classic Disney afternoon cartoons. I am so happy because this includes DuckTales, Rescue Rangers, Tailspin, and Darkwing Duck. DuckTales. woo I can sing all the theme songs. Yeah, I can't. Chippendale, rescue rain. Chippendale, tailspin. Sorry, guys, she's mine. Darkwing Duck, ooh, let's get dangerous. Darkwing Duck, where there's trouble, you call DW. Then you have one more. I have many. No, what was? I got them all. Oh, okay. I caught them all. I catch them all like Pokemon. Yeah. Oh. Um, so we, I, I don't know if, did we mention the whole Spider-Man deal with MCU and, and, uh, well, well, hang on a minute. I, before you leave that, that answer a couple things for me. Okay. Are we getting Disney plus? Are we getting, we, are you and I getting Disney plus? We are signed up. Are we signed we up? Si- I told you we were doing this. I know that, but I didn't know if it actually happened. I, I did it. I pulled the trigger. So when do we get it? November 17th is the day. So our Thanksgiving will be nothing but Disney plus viewings. Oh God. I'm totally Duck fine tales. with this. Woo. <laughs> That's what I want. I want that sound effect for you whenever you say something funny. <laughs> Woo! I don't no. know why. I just, I like it. Okay. Okay, so we have talked about this whole Sony MCU Spider-Man thing yeah, on I the think, podcast before. Yeah, I before. believe we have. Mm-hmm. There's a rumor going around. This is not confirmed, so take it as you will. But apparently, um, Sony has been offering Disney 30% of Spider-Man grosses. And if, if they agree, they must include Venom in the MCU, hmm. which is interesting. Again, just a rumor, not confirmed. So not... that Sony could make a little more ka-ching, ka-ching. Well, yeah, and I mean, the Venom, I don't think the Venom movie was very well received no. at all. We didn't the, see it. The clips that we saw were atrocious, so yeah. yeah, there you go. And last but not least, there are two brand new roller coasters coming to Orlando at SeaWorld Orlando and Tampa Bay Busch Gardens, which is fun. We, we went to SeaWorld this yeah, summer. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think where they would have room for another roller coaster. They are 
kind they're, of they're pretty packed they're full unless packed. they're going to take one down, which could be, which could possibly happen. So at Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay, you're going to get Iron Guazi. <laughs> That's a great. I name. graduated with Iron Guazi uh, oh, from what's, school. What's he doing? I assume. Thank you. It I is. Assume a it's a him. Yes. Um, Iron Guazi. Iron Guazi. Oh, he owns his own gym. Oh, very, very appropriate that his name is Iron, or, or is that the name of his gym, Iron Guazi? No, it's just Guazi. Just his name is just, oh, one word, like share. Gotcha. No, he didn't use the Iron in the name of the gym, he just used Guazi. Guazi, okay. So this is going to be North America's tallest and fastest and steepest hybrid coaster, which I'm a big fan of hybrid coasters. We went on a, a, a wooden coaster this summer at Kings Island when we rode the Beast, yeah. and I thought I was going to die yeah. because it was... Rickety. It was rickety, yes. This is going to be 206 feet tall. It's going to have a 91 degree drop and reach top speeds of 76 miles. 91 degrees. Mm hmm. That's yeah. crazy. So it's going to like invert a little bit? A little bit. A little bit, yeah. Well, that's, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then going to SeaWorld Orlando in 2020, you're going to be able to ride um, SeaWorld Orlando's first launch coaster called Icebreaker. It'll be the tallest, the highest, and the fastest roller coaster in the world. No. No. Not for SeaWorld. This is a family-friendly coaster Okay, named after Icy Arctic Summits. It's going to have four lo- four <laughs> launches. Icy Arctic Summits. 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 Yeah. yeah. I knew her in high school, too. <laughs> no. No. I was going to say, does this sound familiar? Arctic you know, Summits. You're going to be on a roller coaster that's going to the Arctic yeah. to explore. Yeah. 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 This is going to have four launches, both backwards and forwards, and it's going to end in a reverse launch into the steepest... Vertical drop in Florida, a 93-foot-tall spike with a 100-degree angle. My 100-degree angle? Yeah. All right. The thing with SeaWorld, though, is that they have some great coast- coasters. I almost what, what accent was that? Great coasters? Uh-huh. Um, th- the rest of the park needs to catch up. Yeah. Let's just play catch up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they do have that wonderful meal deal. That Northern <laughs> Park has. Yes. Yeah, I would love to see Disney do that. Oh, my God. Yeah, can you, all you imagine? Can eat. Oh, you can, yes, eat, oh, you can you drink? Can eat once an hour and get a meal and a drink once an hour. Yeah, they lose their shirt. I mean, you've paid a crap ton of money because the food's way better. Yeah, you, you, right, obviously. They, they lose their shirt. So that is it for this week. Do we have any park rumors from Bob Disney? Uh, no. No, there are no park rumors this week. Why? Uh, Bob's a little tired. Oh, okay. I mean, I get it. It's 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 been a tiring week for many. Yeah, Bob, Bob ran a race a couple weeks ago. And- <laughs> He needs, he needs oh, some rest. Oh, Bob, Bob ran a race. What yeah. was that race? Um, he ran, <laughs> Bob ran the safety dance, uh, the safety dance uh, race. 1K. <laughs> the safety dance 1K. And it's a straight shot with a bunch of railings. Oh, and, and the lanes are so, so One narrow. One person can only go through One at a time. One person at a time. So if you get that lucky first spot. <laughs> you can't technically run in this race. You must keep your feet on the ground at all times. That's in right. In fact, you have to shuffle. <laughs> shuffle along. That's right. And there's a, there's a walking tram in case you do stop. So there's a walking tram at all times too. That a helps walking you. tram, you say? Yes. What's a walking tram? It just keeps moving. It's at a walking pace. Oh, oh, like, like people mover. Yeah, people mover. Without the well, I mean, people mover a la airports, not yes. people mover a la Disney. No, gotcha. no, people mover so that you are well, constantly. Yeah, I, I just feel like he's very missed. So if, if Bob could maybe get his shit together for next week, that'd be great. <laughs> Can you not swear, please? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, family podcast. If if. Bob you're gonna have to. You're, get his... you're gonna have to give a oh boy in the middle of that. Oh, one. Oh, okay. Yeah. If if Bob could get his oh boy together for next week, that'd be great. I mean, you have to edit that and put that in. Now. Oh, I'm going to. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's already happened. All right. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear it. My earphones were off. I did it already. You didn't. You didn't see me type. It's done. So anyway. Yeah, that's it for episode 17. Uh, again, reach out to us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave us a voicemail, 814-314-9482. And send us a review on Apple Podcasts or Facebook. We have 10 reviews. We have 10 ratings on Apple Podcasts and five reviews. Okay. So I'm going to challenge you all to, to get on there and leave us some creative reviews. Positive <laughs> reviews. <laughs> Positive. Please don't leave us creative negative creative. ones. That doesn't really help Y'all us out at bite. all. bite. Thanks. Thanks a lot. She's got a potty mouth. Yeah, I'm the one that's swearing in this show. Yeah, that's not surprising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it would be. I thought it would be me. Really? Yeah. You don't really swear that often. I really don't. Anyway, so thanks again for tuning in. We will see you next Tuesday with a brand new episode. And until then, stay safe. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>